Hi, I'm back, and I'm here to show you how to attach the cover, or make the cover, attach the hinges, and then the pages. So what I did off camera was I cut two pieces of chipboard that measured six and a half by six and a half. And I came up with this measurement because my album pages are six by six. Um, well, technically it's six by five and three quarters because I took off some when I did the border cuts. But <clears throat> nevertheless, my covers are six and a half by six and a half. My spine piece measures six and a half inches by two uh, because I use the quarter inch gussets um, that will fit on my spine perfectly here. And so to attach these pieces, what I've done was I've put score tape on the back of the spine piece and I have my Tyvek here and I cut it to one, two, three, four, five, about five inches by six and a half inches. And I'm just going to take off the tape backing from my spine piece and I'm going to place it in the middle of my Tyvek sheet. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. You're not even going to see this, but I'm putting it in the middle there. And then I have already put some score tape on my Tyvek as well. And I put a piece here and then I put a piece kind of close to the spine piece, but not all the way there. Now what I'm going to do is take my covers and attach a piece of score tape to one side of each of the covers. <clears throat> I'm going to take off the tape backing off the piece of Tyvek and also off the album cover itself. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the cover to this piece and I'm leaving about <clears throat> excuse me somewhere between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch gap between the spine and the cover I mean I'm gonna do that on both sides and this is so that it can bend nicely I'm gonna do that onto the other side you can draw a line if you want. And now I have some Tyvek sticking out. So all I'm going to do is run my cutter through there. Thank you, babe. <clears throat> and there is the cover. Now what I'm going to do is cover my cover. So I'm going to get out my patterned paper here and decide what I want the cover to be. <clears throat> I really like that. Um, because it's got the blues and it's got the yellow and it's got the pink here. And yeah, I am picking one sheet for the front and one sheet for the back. And there. <clears throat> now, to get my measurements for the paper, I am going to cut it. I want it so that it rolls over an inch on each side. It was the exception of this. So it's six and a half by six and a half. So I'm going to add two inches um, to each measurement. So I'm going to do um, eight and a half by eight and a half. And that way I'm insured enough paper to wrap the three edges that I need to wrap on each side. <clears throat> Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other sheet. And 
you're going to need a piece for the spine. And since I have this, I am just going to use this because it matches. Um, this is the pink paisley paper, and this is the Teresa Collins paper. So it matches very nicely. <clears throat> so I'm going to flip it over, and this is the side that we're going to be attaching it to. So all I'm going to do is apply tape, and I usually do um, an X pattern and a plus pattern. And then I'm going to go around the edges of the album. And this is just so the paper sticks down nicely. And I'm butting my paper or my covers up to the line on my grid here. And then that way I know where the inch is that I'm going to go over. And I'm going to go up to there. So I'm going an inch over the top and an inch over the side and I'm going to rub it down like that. You can use your bone folder and then I'm going to flip it over. Now I'm going to apply tape here and then score tape on the outside of my pages. Sometimes tape doesn't like sticking to chipboard. So now I'm going to fold my paper up and I'm using the butt of my score tool to kind of just rub against the chipboard and the paper just to kind of train the paper a little bit to go up. And I'm going to do that on the other sides too. I'm not pressing it all the way down. So you can see it standing straight up, but I do want it to crease there. <clears throat> this just helps it so that it doesn't crack when you fold it over. Now we're going to have to miter the corners and this is the tricky part because you do not want it. You don't want to cut too close to this corner and then it'll be a gap. So here, let me find my pen again. Nope, well, I'll use this one here. So here are the two lines that are created when we fold the paper here. <clears throat> so I don't want to go all the way down to this point here. I am leaving a little gap there. And then again, on the other side, I'm doing that as well. I don't want to cut all the way to the point. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. I'm going to put it back down here. If you cut it all the way to the corner, when you wrap it, your corner is going to stick out. And you don't want that. So now, zoom back out. And now I'm going to apply the score tape to the paper. I'm going to repeat this process on the other side as well. Um, this side, when I say other side. So now I'm just going to fold my paper and kind of burnish it here as I fold before I fold it all the way down. And what this does again is it kind of trains the paper so that it doesn't crack. It'll rip sometimes depending on the paper. This is pretty thick paper. So by doing this, I eliminate some of the chances of it cracking. <clears throat> so I am going to open this up like this. And I'm going to put score tape on this side as well. I'm going to take that off first and put my spine down. Now, okay, and I'm going to fold the two long ends in first. <clears throat> and now my short end. And I like to use my bone folder 
to hit it right around the corners there so that it doesn't see how this is just a little bit sticking out <clears throat> you can see I'm just gonna cut off the excess paper gently and so now this is my cover and I'm just going to push my paper in there we go so that's the cover so now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the back first I'm going to use my ATG gun just go around the perimeter of the page and this just helps it you don't want to put the paper down without some kind of glue or adhesive there it could bubble up whatever this isn't really what's holding the page down <clears throat> as much as the score tape is on the inside. So again, I'm lining it up on my grid mat so that I have an inch to go over on each side. So I have enough to wrap around. I used to do just half an inch total, but a quarter of an inch is not enough my score tape <clears throat> here and start training this paper is actually not as thick as the other paper so this won't take so long to train so it's like this side it's not as thick so it's a woman's side because we don't take a lot of training the other side's like thick like a man because you know they're thick-headed Again, I'm cutting my corners off, <clears throat> but not too close to the corner. You want to leave a little gap there. When you're adhering it, you can always push it in. So, see how I left a little bit of gap there. Now I'm going to apply my score tape to the paper and then ATG tape to the actual shipboard and there we go. one more burnishing and I'm gonna take off this piece first Put an extra piece here just in case you can never have too much tape I don't think anyway. Fold that up. And this one. Press the extra paper down. And there's the cover. And now I'm going to apply this. I'm going to push the paper into a little space there so it folds nicely. And this is two inches, so <clears throat> add about a quarter of an inch for the gussets there, for the spaces between the pages. I'm going to cut this at eight and a half, and so that's two and a quarter. So if I want half an inch on each side, that's three and a quarter, that's three and a half. I'm going to leave it at what it was, and that was three and a half. Now I'm going to use score tape. I'm going to put it on each side here and then I'm going to try to find the side of my box here, my, not my box, but my album there. So I just distressed it so that I could see it better. <clears throat> 
get in. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of score tape on each side of that distress line. Now I'm going to run some ATG here in the middle. Make sure that's all down. And I'm going to peel this off. Hmm. And take the tape backing. Out the spine piece. And try to center it on your board so that your page is kind of straight. There we go. <clears throat> Burnishing it. Very good. Holding the paper. There we go. Now we're going to attach some score tape to this and also this because this is where we're going to put our hinge. So we want it to be secure on there. Again. Training the paper. There we go. Flip it around. Now just pressing into the grooves again so that I can. Bend my book, close it. There we go. And there's the book. The spine in the back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our binding that we already made earlier, put the score tape on the back of it, and I'm gonna remove the tape backing. I did use half inch and this, as I said earlier, just so the whole thing is covered. <clears throat> and I'm going to place it, I'm going to center it from top to bottom, make sure that it's straight. I'm using the lines that I created when I folded the book. You can see the indentations there um, that I made from pushing the paper in there and that's how I'm going to tell. I'm going to line up these two score marks and place it in there. Make sure it's kind of centered from top to bottom and then press it. I'm going to take my tool, I'm going to take the butt of my tool and just press in between these gussets to adhere the score tape. And now we're going to close the book again. And I'm again pressing the edge of my bone folder into the crack. And it's a little stiff, but it closes. There we go. Roll it back a little bit there. There we go. <clears throat> so now we're going to open it back up and I'm going to attach my pages. I already have my pages in the order that I want. I have the two scalloped pages, the one in the front and the one in the back, and then the rest of the pages. So I'm just going to set them down in front of 
my gussets here. Try to get in more. And then I'm going to start, this is the front of the book, so I'm going to start with the last hinge in the back. I'm going to take off the tape backing from both sides. <clears throat> and I'm going to start with the last page. I'm going to open it up like this. And I'm going to stick it over the hinge. Press it flush down. Make sure it's in there centered. And then I'm going to squeeze. And push it down. Repeat with the second page. I got to make sure that my pages are right. This is the front of my book. The pocket's going to be on the bottom. Open up my book like this. Open up my book. Sorry. Open up my page. Stick the page in the hinge. And then push it down. It's a very, very simple process. I'm going to set my book up so that you can see what I'm doing from maybe the side view. There we go. So this is the front. I'm opening, I've got my hand in my page and I'm sticking the open page on each side of the hinge, pressing it all the way down and closing it. page. Now, now we're going to cover the insides. Our covers are six and a half by six and a half. So I'm going to cut paper that is six and a quarter by six and a quarter. I'm just going to bring my paper over here. I'm going to try to find some paper that I've already cut to about that size. This will work and this will work. So no to that side, no to this side. So I'm just going to cut this at six and a quarter by six and a quarter. I'm going to put that on the back. And this one, I just want it checked. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut off this decorative line here and turn it over and cut this at six and a quarter. I can zoom back out now. I'm just going to use ATG, get close to the edges, and then make an X pattern. And attach it to the inside front cover, leaving an eighth of inch gap everywhere. Same thing to the back cover. Whoops. And there you go. So now in the next videos, we will be making tags for the pockets and decorating. So hope you have a good Christmas and I'll talk to you later.